forward Barra engine is available in three different configurations, NA, turbo and LP gas. These days we seem to get a lot of calls from people who buy NA Fords and want to put a turbo on them. And that's fine because the basic engine configuration is the same, you've just got to make a few little changes along the way, reduce the compression ratio, you know, fit the turbo up, etc, etc. One area that you do have to pay close attention to is the exhaust valves. Now, in the turbo engine, the exhaust valves are made out of a higher quality stainless type material and it will be able to withstand the exhaust gas temperatures associated with the turbo engine. The NA valves are not suitable for that use and they won't last. Um, so you've obviously got to change them when you're doing your engine rebuild. Now people often say to me, how do I tell an NA valve from a turbo valve? Well that's quite easy to tell, considering they look exactly the same and they're both 32 millimetres in diameter. The easiest way to tell is that the turbo valve has an O forged in the head. Which you can see this one here has the O forged in the head, whereas the other valve in the LP gas or the NA engine is just plain. I've seen the NA valves fail in turbo applications in under 3000 Ks, so it's really something that you can't just let go. You really have to change them and put in the O-series valve or a decent aftermarket stainless valve.